Hi right, guys, welcome back to 2FC AK 2 Falls Combined. And after an amazing four game unbeaten streak, we lose to a very good Southampton performance. I'm not taking much away from us. Um, when we had the ball, it was decent, but Southampton outplayed us today. Um, I'm making no excuses. They just outplayed us and possibly could have been more but we lose 3-1 oh well live and learn hopefully we won't sit back as much against Arsenal but knowing us we will let's get into this so within the first 36 seconds Shane Long gets beyond Martin Kelly and shoots just wide it's really really not far at all um, it was very nice it was a very nice attempt uh, 12th minute foul on Wilf outside the box um, on the right hand side of the box you got Jason punching Luca and Kabyle stepping over um, or standing over it even <coughs> and Milivojevic takes it it goes outside of the uh, which it was outside the wall which was more the free kick was more for a left footer curls out just on the outside of the post and it was it was very it was a very nice free kick it was very nicely weighted it wasn't too hard it wasn't too soft it was if it was half an inch to the left it was one one nil there and then Where's he gone? I don't know. Uh, 20th minute. Cedric, with a great run, crosses the ball into Redmond. Redmond heads it. Um, it goes down towards the left bottom left corner. And Wayno gets down perfectly. Um, it goes out for a corner, which comes to nothing. But it was a really nice header from such a small person. It was a really nice. He out-jumped. I think it was Ward. Um but yeah, danger, danger. Uh, 26 minute, ball into the box. Benteke nods it down, which when you look at the replay, should have gone to goodbye. But he nods it backwards to Zaha, who pauses, smashes it, blocks, goes out for a corner. It doesn't come to anything, but it was, it was a nice piece of play. And then we get on to this, the 30th minute, we go 1-0 up. Uh, down the left-hand side, Wilf and Schlupp keep the ball together down the left-hand side. Schlupp passes it to Zaha. He cuts in a couple of times, passes it out to Punch, and we're thinking, smash it. He thinks otherwise. He passes it out to Andros on the right. He cuts into the box, slides it across the box with, so I don't know whether it's a shot cross, but he had some venom behind it, and Ben Teke's there. We're winning one Neil, it was a very nice, very nice work, uh, very nice build up to the goal. Um, obviously, it was a tap in at the end of the day, but it was a very nice goal at the end of the day. Thirty uh, ninth and the fortieth, uh, Southampton two penalty shouts. The first one, Schlupp, it looks like it's handball. It looks like it should be. A penalty to Southampton. My personally, my personally opinion, my personal opinion. The second one, not so much. Looks like Milivojevic kind of hands him off, but not really pushing him. Uh, Shane Long, sorry, um, in the box goes down. He called for it. The fans called for it more, but I, I could have, I can see the first one. The first one definitely. Should have been a penalty. Second one, not so much. Um, 44th minute. Crossing from the right. Uh, probably Cedric, because he was dominating all game. Um, or it was Ward Prowse or Davis or someone. It was one of their midfielders. Uh, it was a foul on Zaha. Um, but wasn't given. There's a foul on Zaha, the cross comes in, Nathan Redmond chests it down, 
it, it didn't connect very well. Um, which I think threw the defenders and Wayno off a lot. Um, but oh, what can you do? Um, it goes 1 0, 44th minute. Uh, 1 0, sorry, 44th minute. So we go into half time. Equal. Into the second half. Redmond cross. Uh, Ward Prowse blocked by Sacco and Cedric has a shot just after it just narrowly goes wide um, danger from the outset of the second half um, should we do better uh, defensively possibly but the two two defenders that possibly should have been there instead of Kelly were both injured so what, what can you do? Maybe start Delaney if uh, Scotty Dan and James Tompkins aren't back for Arsenal instead of Martin Kelly because he looked like a he looked like a deer in headlights most of the game. He had a couple of good attempts, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Fifty first minute, Luca um, Milivojevic. It's kind of it's, it's kind of like a central cross, a bit diagonal, but into the box centrally if that makes any sense um, really really nice cross in um, uh, Andros tries doing a little flick but gets the deflection goes out for a corner which obviously comes to fucking nothing as usual but it was a really nice ball into him that's why that's why I've put it down I think uh, 54th minute Tadic with a fantastic ball into Shane Long, who Shane Long should have had five or six goals today. He played really well. Um, really good ball into him. Wayne Hennessy comes out, makes himself look big, saves it, goes out for a corner, which comes to nothing. 64th. Oh no. What am I talking about? Wayne Hennessy comes out, Shane Long tries chipping him. That one is the next one. 64th, Andros, free kick uh, into the box. Benteke heads it um, to Martin Kelly. This is what I was talking about. I'll get to Martin Kelly. with He holds it really, really well. Um, he volleys it, hits the post. It comes out to Wilf, who just goes to smash it and just goes nowhere it goes into Rose it it was a horrible attempt but the Martin Kelly one again half an inch couple of inches to the left that's 2-1 and we're leading again <laughs> this is the one I was talking about the Tadic ball to Shane Long um, with it should have been 2-1 there and then Shane Long goes to slot it past Wayno. Wayno makes a great save goes out for a corner the one I was talking about before Another good ball in from Tadic to um, He tries to chip Hennessy and it just narrowly goes over the bar. Like I said, Shane Long should have had a few. 74th minute corner. Corner in, header towards, I think it might have been Luca. I'm not 100%. Um, he headers it, goes on. Uh, goes towards goal, Shane Long flicks out for another corner, which goes out for another corner, which then comes to fuck all. 76 minute, Romeo, probably about, I'd say 25, 30 yards out, as a, as a good strike. Double deflection, Hennessy makes a really good save, which goes out for a corner. Um, the corner comes in, and Yoshida, with quite a powerful header, straight, luckily, into the arms of Hennessy. 79th minute, Tadic again, this bloke, the, the whole, like I said, Southampton themselves just played amazingly. Tadic cut back to Davis, he smashes it, it's blocked by Sacco, which then comes back to Davis, who tries again, and it just, Damo, Delaney just jumps at him, makes the block, goes out for a corner. Um, I, it did take a knock, Davis, um, which took a while for the corner to be made. Uh, taken, even not made. Um, the corner didn't come to anything, but 
straight after the corner. 83rd minute. Redmond runs Joel Ward ragged on the um, left-hand side. Burst the pace, gets into the box, cuts it back. Um, it's like a flicked off of Stevens. Uh, he flicks it, sorry, over to the right-hand side of the six-yard box. And Yoshida's there with a very easy tap-in. So we're 2-1 down with not long to go. And then within... 60 seconds, the 84th minute, Tadic to Cedric, Cedric along the floor, again another tap in to James Ward-Prowse and it's 3-1 and it's game over there and then um, we had one more attempt, free kick from Jason Punch in the 91st which it wasn't a great free kick but um, Fraser Forster makes it look like a better free kick than it actually was. Um, our players look tired, which you can understand. Some of them are internationals. They played two games last week. They played on Saturday and now they're playing on Wednesday. Lucky we've got a little bit of a break until Monday night now. But even five days, um, five days probably isn't enough either. But. Like I said, I'm taking nothing away from Southampton. They played really good football today. Um, Cedric, Romeo, uh, Tadic, Shane Long should have scored plenty. Um, Sacco, again, absolute beast. Looked knackered. Wilf looked good when he had the ball. Andros, his, touching, his touches sorry, weren't the best at times, but... Again, you can't you can't expect to hold off a team like Southampton, especially after the performance we put in against Chelsea at the weekend. Um, everyone was very tired. You could see it. Hopefully, we can rest up and beat Arsenal. Possibly, maybe at least get a draw. But sorry about that. Camera died again, as per fucking usual. Um, Yeah, hopefully we can get some rest. We need it, especially against Arsenal. I know they're not defensively not amazing at the moment. They have just smashed West Ham 3-0 tonight, so fingers crossed we can actually get something on Monday. Um, make sure you check out FYP TV. Make sure you check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and subscribe if you are new and if you like content. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace.